Moving on now, hundreds of child care workers across Connecticut got to work late this morning as they were hosting more than a handful of rallies calling on lawmakers to do something about the crisis in their industry. A total of eight rallies took place, one of them in New Haven. Fox 61's Julia LeBlanc takes us there. Marina, are we good? Did it come long? No, it's good. The New Haven Green coming to life. Amy, we're like ants. We get right to it, like early childhood educators. We get things done. Except these childcare workers aren't heading right to work. They're staking it out here, sounding the alarm and calling for change. Fix childcare, no! Childcare system is broken. Families can't afford it, teachers uh, make too little, and programs can barely survive. Alex Schiavone says this problem has been growing for decades. Pandemic funding kept providers afloat, but now they're drowning again. We want to get in the boat. We're going to get out of the water and into the boat, and we need investment to be able to get to that place. Hundreds of other child care workers standing for the same purpose, gathering in seven other Connecticut towns and cities, asking the state for $700 million. Be careful all! That's Angela Russell. She runs a child care center out of her home. The cost is more than um, I'm able to um, really bear. However, I don't want to give it up. 62% of Russell's peers are also spending more than they're making caring for the kids, but they and parents have no other choice. We need help. That's why we're here. Rondrea Barron works at the daycare she sends her child to, but a medium wage of $13.45 to start in this field doesn't cut it. I need more money to support my baby. And they need lawmakers to hear them loud and clear. The Senate is introducing a new bill this week focusing on funding for children Providers say it's a start, but it only scratches the surface. Without an investment into early care and education, the entire economy is at risk because we support the entire workforce. Say no more! No more! In New Haven, Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 News.